Hello guys, it's Ryan Ho back with another video. Today we have our planar battle on the table. So our contestants today is the HE6 SEV2 that comes in around $600. And then we have the Hyphman Sundara that comes in around $350. And then we have the GL2000 that comes in around $640. Now we're gonna compare all these headphones and I use the Diablo to do this comparison and we're gonna see which one sounds better, which ones you should choose, which one is better. We're talking about the build quality. Does it feel good? Is it heavy? All these things. So please like and subscribe down below. It really helps my videos out. So any help would be appreciated. Now, let's get on with this review. So I ran them all off the IDST Diablo with ballast to get us judge of their sound. And I'm talking about the Sundara first. So when it comes to just the weight, the Sundara is actually the lightest one with under 400 grams, versus the other two are really heavy and they actually make your neck sore. And the HE6 is about 500 grams, while the GL2000 is like 550 grams. So they're both really heavy, while the Sundara is the lightweight. So if you're just if you want something very comfortable, the Sundara is definitely that. I find the Sundara headband to be a little comfortable than the, the other two, but I think that's mainly because it's just lighter, so the headband doesn't have to like hold as much weight, but the suspension style headband is also very nice. Now the build of this headphone is actually really good too. It has some metal cups and even a metal yoke right here, and that's actually better than the HE6, which is, you know, double the price at least. And it's made of a plastic around the edges and it's more built like their $150 headphone versus the Sonara is actually built with its own unique look and with more premium materials. Now, the ear cups are kind of where I think some issues are. So the ear cups are kind of this um, circular style. So your ears kind of get chapped between the circle and up and bottom. So they kind of get stuck versus like, Something like the GL2000 is an oval shape and it's huge. So your ears are fit comfortably inside and they never kind of rub against the edges at all. And this happens for both the Sundara and the um, HE6 because so they're about the same size and they use the same pads. Now the pads are actually kind of nice. I kind of enjoy these pads. They're these hybrid pads that have leather on the outside. Inside they have um, this velour type and then they're like perforated on the inside and overall i do find it a pretty comfortable experience but these kind of get a little itchy with the velour a little bit so that's kind of like something that i got used to eventually and now it no longer feels itchy but yeah the build quality of this is okay in the sense that like this headphone doesn't really like swivel so that kind of affects the comfort because these other two headphones actually have swivel. So like these kind of turn a little bit more, as you can see. So that makes this headphone more comfortable. And the GL2000 also can kind of turn as well. So that also makes that a superior build in my opinion. Now let's talk about the uh, HE6 build quality. HE6 build quality is interesting because it is made like their $150 headphone, the HE400 SC. And it's for a $600 headphone, it's probably not that great. But like I said, it does have the additional benefit of the swivel. And then it has this um, leather top, which is I find is nice. But when I first got it, it was definitely had a little bit of hot spot because the headphone is a little heavy. So I definitely felt a little hot spot on top. And then, yeah, overall, it's not a bad headphone, honestly build wise and comfort wise is just heavy right now the gl2000 is built better than all of them in my opinion it has a wider headband which distributes the weight much better and i kind of enjoyed that about this headphone and the yoke the yokes right here are made of metal but the headband extension is really big and since like this headband is already really big i don't even need to pull it out at all and it fits perfectly on my head so if you have a small head, this headphone might not even fit on your head. And then the design of this right here is really nice. I really like the grill design. It's my favorite by far, and it looks really good. 
Now, the ear cups are um, really big, and in the sense that they might actually be too big for certain people and kind of affect their jaw down here because it's so big. But I really like the pads on these because it's all leather. It never gets scratched here at all, but because it's all leather, it can get a little hotter than normal. But overall, this is definitely the best build, and the accessories that comes with this is also really good. The cable that comes with this is like one of my favorite cables ever. And you get a whole entire like briefcase and everything with the GL2000. Now let's talk about sound. Which one sounds the best? Well, the Sundara is the most neutral sounding and most balanced sounding headphone on this table. This thing, only weakness really is that like last bit of sub bass, I think. Besides that, this headphone really does well and sounds really good. And in comparison to, let's say, the GL2000, the Sundara is able to present much more air and much more um, space in the treble region. And it really does a lot better job than the GL2000. GL2000 just sounds a little bit compressed and kind of closed in in that area. When it comes to vocals, I also think the Sundara does sound a little bit more balanced. However, the GL2000 does have an advantage because it kind of emphasizes kind of the lower mid range. So think of like male vocals kind of pop out a lot more or better. Um, string instruments especially come out a lot better on, on the GL2000. They're kind of emphasized and they sound really good on them. And then even like female vocals have a little bit more body to them, but their lack of like upper mid-range really kind of hurts the female vocals and they kind of sound a little far and distant and not as present. So the Sundara is definitely better there. And then when it comes to like the bass, I think the GL2000 actually has a little bit more bass like quantity, it feels like, and it has more impact. So it just sounds a little bit better to me in the bass. But yeah, I think the GL2000 also actually has a bigger sound stage because it has a huge driver and it's able to make sounds kind of come above and around you, which is like kind of crazy. And it's really good that it has this like cool sound stage trick. Versus the Sundara has the probably the smallest sound stage on this table. The HT6 is actually wider as well than the Sundara in that aspect. And technically, if I compare the GL2000 to the Sundara, I think they're technically very close. I think the Sundara has a little softer presentation while the GL2000 has a little bit edgier presentation, but not as like well-defined as the um, HG6. I think the HG6 definitely has the, the best technical performance on this table. Now let's compare the Sundara to the HG6, right? So when it comes to these two headphones, like I said, the uh, AG6 is really heavy. It's definitely less comfortable headphone. When it comes to the sound, I think the weakness of the AG6 is really, it doesn't, it has a scoop in its mid range, which causes male vocalists to appear a little far away. And then it also causes female vocals to sound a little thin. And these are two things that the Sundara actually avoids really well in its tuning. And if you really like vocal, Music, I think the Sundara is a better choice in that tuning, but the HG6 actually has better bass extension. So when it comes to like the sub bass, you really hear that. And when it comes to the bass region too, the HG6 is just able to have more impact and much more defined like hits. Things sound a little bit more realistic on the headphone too, a little bit more natural as well because of it. And it gives you much more lifelike presentation the way that this um, headphone presents the music. And in that sense, it is better than Sundara in that way. And technically, it's a better headphone as well. So for me, if you want the technically best headphone, it would be this one. But if you like vocals more, I think the Sundara is a better choice. Now, let's move the Sundara off the table and compare these two now. So these two headphones are around the same price, right? This is 600 and, and this is about 640 and when it comes to just like build and everything, the GL2000 just is just better than the Hyperman. The Hyperman is just made of cheaper materials. Even the cable is just not that nice. The GL2000 is just better in that respect, even look wise and comfort wise. I mean, the GL2000 is heavier, so the HG6 is a little bit better in that sense, but I find the GL2000 to be a little bit more comfortable. But 
Yeah, well, so when it comes to the sound quality, that's where these two differ a lot. So I think the GL2000 is just not as good as the uh, HE6. The HE6 kind of is just better in most areas. So when it comes to like bass, the HE6 is just a little bit more defined, better sub bass. It just faster and it attacks faster. It's just a better headphone than bass. Like there's just no questions about it. In the mid range is kind of a funny part. I think these two headphones are like the opposites of each other in the mid range. The the um, HE6 kind of lacks the lower mid range, which makes things, you know, the vocals sound a little bit more distant and more thin for female vocals and emphasizes like the upper mid range. So it really brings out the clarity in female vocals. While the <laughs> GL2000 is emphasizing the lower mid range. So male vocals come out more forward, better defined, and then female vocals kind of sound more distant. And in a sense, they really are opposites in the mid range. And then even strings, like I said earlier, sound better on the GL2000 because it emphasizes that region. Now, when it comes to the treble, that's where it's not really a close competition. The HE6 just destroys the <laughs> GL2000. It's just better extended, much more lovely. It's not really having any treble peaks at all versus I feel like when it comes to the um, GL2000, there's congested and overall not very good treble and yeah that's where the he6 wins if i had to choose between these headphones i would definitely choose the he6 over the gl2000 and then of course i would choose the sundara also over the gl2000 right and yeah that's basically my planar battle comparison i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe down below it really helps my videos out. I'll be making more headphone reviews in the future, so you don't want to miss out on that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.